Hello, welcome to episode one of Robert Schmalkman's Race to Glory, trying to make him world champion. We started at Alfa Romeo because he is a Ferrari Academy driver, and we had a pretty decent first sector in our first quality lap, but then we went wide there and ruined the lap. But we still tried to make the best of it, slipstreaming the TC. And if I remember, after this lap, and again, running too wide there, it wasn't a very good lap. I don't think any of my quality laps were. If I remember correctly, after this lap, I was just above Latifi. And as we go out for our final run of the session, this was on 85 difficulty. I've upped it to 89 since. Gained time through turn one, but actually turns out that my controller wasn't working, so I had to use a replay there. But I'll try not to use replays throughout the series. Uh, gaining time here, but losing it all through there. And then through this part, we gain it all back. And in the end, we gain a couple of temps, I think. Um, we had a much nicer run through here, but we had no slipstream. But still, much better lap. And we gained some time. And that put us P11 in Q1. Then I upped the difficulty in between the sessions. This is my first lap in Q2. I went out on mediums to set a bank of time. Because I used two sets of soft. And... We're going through here. This is actually what I think was my best lap. And it's just a shame that the mediums have no pace. Around Bahrain. Because this was actually a near perfect lap in my opinion. In terms of not running wide and stuff. And this lap put us about a second, 1.2 seconds off the pace. And the soft tyre delta was 1.3 seconds, but this lap was far from good enough. So, did alright through here. Paused it because I had to scratch. And through here, time gain, but not enough time gain. And... Just wasn't as good a lap, so we didn't gain the time we needed. And um, with track evolution as well, it was quite a disappointing lap, so we didn't deserve to get any higher than P15, if I'm being honest. And as we cross the line now, that is where we ended up, up P15. Red lights, and away we go. It's a good start. We get Leclerc, and we try and go around the outside at turn one. Ocon gets us back, so we're just on the verge of points. Go for a move, clip our front wing, and now we have to go to the pits this lap. I think about staying out, but we just keep losing so much time. Team calls me, and I decide to say, yeah, I'll go in. And, I mean, just look how much time we're losing, especially through here. Norris tries to get us, and here's a replay. I don't think I was at fault. I think I would have been on that inside line if I didn't have wing damage. So, in fact, I gave him more space than he would have had. So, yeah, we end up in the pits for slap. Um, that was me just pausing to check everything. Lando Norris also follows me into the pits, but he's about 10 seconds off me. Then, even after going into the pits, we don't... Try and gain some time back, see if we can do well. And on this lap, I don't actually think we gained any time. Just running in standard. And I was losing hope at this point, but I was thinking I lost about 32 seconds in the pit lane. So they probably will lose about 25, so could have got Latifi or Russell. And just pushing, trying to get to them. Lando, no this lap, these first few laps after coming out of the pits, I was just in push mode, trying to make up lost time whilst also saving fuel. And you'll see it in my driving, there are a few errors creeping in. Um, these first few laps were alright, uh, but then after this lap, I think, Starts to becoming a lot more error prone. Run wide there, accidentally pressed replay. Lost a bit of time there. Um, 
And the worst thing about what um, ruined my race as well is that Esteban Ocon, a couple of laps down the line, ended up retiring. If you look, Lando Norris has taken a chunk out of my time. Um, they're starting to pull away from me now, and I'm getting more desperate. <coughs> and it's not really working for me. The cars ahead are just gaining. Ocon's out. There we go. And the T feed picks up a five second time penalty around about here. Yeah, there you go. For ignoring the yellow flags. I just went to check what he got that penalty for. <coughs> and now look how much time I've lost to Lando Norris. Haven't actually lost that much time to Latifi and Russell. But then some people are starting to pit this lap. So if I keep on pushing, I think you'll see in a bit Latifi and Russell move up because Ricardo, who was just ahead of Ocon, pits. And this is what really ruins it for me. I come out, I, they've come out of the pits and they're still 15 seconds ahead. So I'm pushing and I spin. Lando's just behind me now. I'm now 20 seconds behind them, who I should have been battling. I think after that spin, I realised there was no point continuing. So, I see Raikkonen's in the pit. At this point, um, I think I've already decided to retire. I just haven't told the team on boxing. And Lord Norris is right behind us, so we would have lost the position to him anyways. So we would have been literally in last. And then I retire into the pit lane. If you want to see a shorter version of this video, then go watch my TikTok. I will leave a link in the description. And Bossas wins a Mercedes 1-2 with fastest lap. Um, Hamilton second, Verstappen third. Carlos Sainz are in eighth. Podium celebrations. And then wallet loads. This is the final order. And yeah, Norris recovered to P17. That's it.